there's more complicated tool rests you can make. I think there's two different variations. There's that one. That's a more simpler version than that one. And then this one I'm doing is an even more simpler version of that one. And this book tells you everything you need to know about these grinding rests. And doing different cutters. But because I only want a basic rest to cut my to sharp my end mills and my slot mills, I'm making this simplified version to this drawing. There's four sheets. That's sheet one. That's sheet two. Sheet three. And sheet four. So looking at sheet 4 and sheet number 1, you can see how you get your angle, that's your primary angle, <clears throat> so you've got your grinding wheel, that plate's horizontal to the um, guard over the grinding wheel, this table set on that plate in that position, And then that gives you, with the curvature of the wheel, as shown in that drawing there, that's your wheel, that gives you your 5 degree angle for your primary cutting edge. Then to get the secondary cutting edge, which is on sheet 4, Your 25 degree angle, you just have to move the table on this fixed uh, arm coming off the grinder guard. You take the two bolts out and then you move to these two, instead of them two positions, you move to them two positions in the back positions on the plate screw it on put your nuts on the back, clamp it up and that gives you your 25 degree secondary angle Again, using the curvature of the wheel, a combination of the tool rest angle and the wheel angle. But the annoying thing is with this, you have to keep, when you're taking this off to change the angles, you've got to keep putting the bolts in and putting the nuts on the back, which is a bit annoying. So I'm going to modify this. I'm going to thread these holes, well I've already threaded them, I was going to make a new one of them but I'm going to just going to stick with that one because it's, it's still doing the same job, I, I just made them slots to make it easier to, to get it horizontal, you don't have to put slots in, if you get your drilling bang on, you don't need to put them slots in. So I'm going to I'm going to utilise that same plate. The cutouts are just simply to miss the bolts that hold my guard together. And I suppose each every grinder's got different you know methods of holding guard on with screws in different positions. So I've had to shape it to miss my screws. I'm going to make these bolts so they screw into that with with just thumb screws. So I'm not going to mess about putting nuts on the back. That's my first mod. My second mod is going to be, I'm going to change this table because, because this is made of aluminium it started to drag a little bit. I've got a piece of steel just 
plain steel angle. I've skinned it up to get me square and flat. And I'm going to put the slots in. Uh, you only need that slot. I've put that slot in so I can put my uh, wheel dresser up to it to dress the wheel. So that's not actually needed. That's the slot. 60mm from the front face. So I'm going to get that slot put in. And these lines, that's your advancing mechanism for your tool depth of coat, and it has to be set at two degrees. Like that. It's just so them lines are just to guide you to get your tool at, at the correct setting so that when you put your tool up to it, you've got this two degree angle. So the annoying thing with this is because it's got four holes in you have to keep taking this bolt and this plate off the back to get your different positions for different size cutters. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slot that, make that one complete slot. And instead of this uh, Allen screw with this nut on the back plate, I'm going to recess the back of the slot so a nut fits in it and I'm going to make a thumb screw for this so that it only needs a, a, a turn and then that can be moved in and out or left or right and then tighten back up So that's number two modification, and then the third modification is this. Um, you have to keep putting this Allen key in to turn it. So I'm going to make another thumb screw for that, and then that's going to make that more simpler to use. And all this is a piece of one inch or twenty five millimeter. square bar made to them dimensions bored out for this to fit in that's your depth in stop and all it is it's spring loaded at the back it's got a pin in it to stop it turning 
and then this screw just screws it in and out. You can put markings on that to tell you the distance that you're going to screw it in and out, but I've not bothered with that. And then the tool holder, again, is one inch square bar, just from a piece of stock material. It's bored out to fit the biggest cutter, which in this case is three quarter, and then you make sleeves to bring your size down for your different cutters and all it does is locate the group screw locates onto the cutter and you kit that's to set your cutter up in the position that the flutes and the cutting edges have got to be horizontal or vertical to the tool holder.